What's up everyone, my name is Michael and welcome to Plan Concept. So as you see, there is a big bike suitcase behind me. So today we're going to be documenting how to actually pack the bike um, into a suitcase so that it doesn't break on the way. So first of all, quickly just talking you through the kind of case that I'm having. It's, uh, it's a hard case, uh, like a hard shell case. Before I had an, uh, an Evoc, I think it's called Evoc, that company, a soft case, which felt great, uh, was more on the expensive side. Wheels have been fantastic. Packing was kind of straightforward. Uh, a lot of protection and like foam in there. Um, but it was still soft after all. And what happened when I was coming back from uh, Mallorca last year, I noticed that the airline placed something rather heavy on my frame, um, which of course had the seat post still in um, because that was kind of the design for the back. And the seat post kind of pushed through the down tube. And because it was uh, an aero frame, an aero carbon frame, which had a little bit of a cutout in that place where the cutout was, the seat post kind of poked through and uh, yeah, broke the carbon. So since then, um, yeah, I'm rather traveling with a hard shell case, so just as a side note. So in regards to preparation, aside from the case, you see that there is a bunch of uh, packing material in here, like um, some isolation tubing, foam tubing that I want to put uh, around the tubes of the frame. There's a bunch of uh, bubble wrap, which I was using um, last year as well. We're gonna be recycling a lot of this. And then uh, last thing is, there are a bunch of Velcro straps uh, that I just bought that you can basically cut into uh, the length that you need for basically just wrapping things together, wrapping the bubble wrap around the frame, or also because the clothes are also gonna go in here, the helmet's gonna go in there, the shoes are gonna go in here and um, some tools and stuff like this. So basically that you can uh, wrap off all of those together and kind of like attach them to the frame so that they don't fly around um, while being handled. I would say step one, let's take off the wheels. So yeah, let me get you into this perspective so you see the whole layout a little bit better. So aside from rim brakes just being amazing, um, the upside here as well is that it's very easy to disassemble them and um, you have to put them into the case. You don't really have to think about what's happening with your rotors, what's happening with your brake pads. Do you need to put a spacer in there? Do you want to remove the, the pads from the brake in general? No, 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 all this kind of stuff. Um, yeah, so it's pretty straightforward. So let's put those two wheels into the case. So the way this case is built is that up here behind this foam, there's space to mount those wheels. So what we have to do now is we basically take, we remove the quick release axle. That's pretty straightforward as well. So, so. so then you have a two kind of quick release skewers, like without the arm, um, that basically come through from the other side, basically from the outside of the case. And you're gonna basically be gonna mounting uh, the wheels to the case. So let's quickly do that. There's one long one, one short one. Of course, we use the long one for the one that has the cassette. Guiding through here. There we go. And then we just attach the nut over here. We take the short one uh, for the front wheel. And attach the nut. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the wheels. Um, so let's put that foam on and let's start disassembling the frame. What I forgot to add, in this case, at least, there are these two plastic parts that you now are going to attach to the skewers as well. And they are basically going to stabilize the whole box so that nothing can be crushed. There's again one long one, one short one. We attach the short one to the long skewer and the short one. Yeah, short one to the long skewer and the long one to the short skewer. It even says back and front on those little things, so even I understand it. There we go. So what I'd like to do um, now that we have the cassette out and the rear wheel out, there's no tension on here, so that's all laughing around and could be damaging and scratching your frame, uh, your frame during transport. So the idea is to use something like this, like a dummy cassette or dummy hub or whatever uh, it's called. And this basically slots in like this. You can cache the chain here. 
and you push it into the quick release spot back here so we can tighten it a little bit okay now that's in and has some nice tension yeah by the way sorry for all the white flakes fluffing around here i just uh, freshly waxed the chain so snowing a little bit now that that's done we can place the frame into the box and start taking off the handlebars and the seat post um, pedals and so on so first of all let me get the pedals off speed play one out speed play two also out as far as i remember it's gonna go in like this yeah that looks pretty good next thing i'm gonna do i'm gonna remove the seat post what's really important is that you mark um with a little bit of tape like electrical tape um what the position of your seat post has been so you don't need to do like a mini bike fit when you arrive but you just put it in and uh yeah stop where you put the tape on so as you see now what we have to do is we need to dismount the handlebars so we can place them somewhere where there's space and then second of all we're gonna loosen the stem bolts so we can basically push the stem rather inwards okay we can put the handlebar aside for now there you go and we attach those back so we don't lose them along the way And I'm also going to do some the stem bolts. So we can basically turn this inwards without twisting the fork. There we go. Okay. There we go. Oh, okay. You gotta watch out because we have a slammed stem. So we can't really move it fully inwards. So it's going to be important that we basically protect the surface here between the stem and the top tube. For that, we're gonna cut a piece of uh, foam baguette. Slice at that and twist it around right here. So nothing, nothing can really happen. Make sure that this isn't going somewhere during transport. Um, I'll just quickly tape it with some electrical tape, my favorite. So now I'm gonna cut a bunch of uh, bunch of this uh, foam baguette and uh, attach it around um, yeah around the frame, and then we'll basically be securing it with those straps to the case itself. Oh, that's good. So yeah, don't get frustrated. It is a little bit like a jigsaw puzzle. And um, yeah, I think even I noticed that um, it would be smarter to flip the bike around uh, the other way. So let's do that and see if it's gonna make things any better. Yeah, I think that makes sense because it's also a little bit wider here towards the, towards the bottom. So it makes sense that um, the rear derailleur goes there there's a little bit more space here in the front so that in theory we could even leave our um, our stem in the original position so one thing we want to watch out for is the places where those plastic stabilizers are gonna um, basically touch the floor here and what i did uh, without the bike in there i basically just checked where they're going to be touching and i put a white x on the foam so i see that there's one going to be here one is going to be here so i guess here we might want to make a little bit more space for it and here we are going to be all fine yeah so i think this way we're kind of nicely set up with the handlebar basically being below um, the the head tube just wrapping around uh, the top tube everything is nicely protected with foam here so nothing's going to get scratched up we'll add that foam here to the to the fork as well and there's even a little bit of velcro here so we can secure it nicely in place and let's protect and put all those pieces in place here as well so we can even strap the handlebar 
in as well. We can secure the top tube in place here as well. And here as well. Oh, we can actually wrap it this way around. Also doesn't matter if it um, wraps around uh, the paint itself because it's the soft inner side of the Velcro that's touching it. So now there should still be some space for um, the seat post. Uh, we can, for example, put it down here. There's a little bit of Velcro here. Um, I'm also going to be putting um, some clothing here, my helmet in there. So um, I'll try to reduce the empty space so that nothing can really be flying around too much. Maybe it's a smart idea to also package the seat tube with a little bit of foam as well. So you just got to put it on it here this way. Okay, so now I can put in the bottles because um, I think it's better to transport it with bottles in here. So just in theory, in case something heavy should be dropped on uh, on the case, the the bottle holders are not gonna get crushed so easily because there's gonna be something in here. So yeah, now it's about um, putting all the accessories and tools and clothes in place. So I'll take my, um, take my helmet, I'll put my glasses in here, and then I put the helmet into a nice bubble wrap it's as nice as secured. Okay, so I'll take a Velcro strap then normally and just wrap it around. I'll do the same thing with um, my cycling shoes. So again, I'll find some bubble wrap, wrap it around, attach it this way. Nice yeah, it's secure. This automatically is also kind of fixating the uh, seat post in place as well. Then I'll take my pedals. Um, with the pedals, I'll also put them into a little bit of bubble wrap. Here's a nice bubble wrap sausage and put it into a bag so it doesn't really open up. There we go. As this bag is kind of clean, we can also put it into the bottle as well, if it fits. And that's just a stupid, stupid idea. Not so stupid after all, huh? Nice. Oh, got the got the pedals in here. Then it's going to be essential that you take all the tools that you need to assemble the bikes, everything that you need it now to disassemble it, that you take this with you as well. So I'll just take this torque wrench set with its bits with me. And of course I can't have it flying around this way, so what we're gonna do and bubble wrap as well. We'll take some Velcro. Now you're gonna try to attach it here to the fork. Okay. Nicely attached to the fork, so that also doesn't go anywhere. And of course, let's not forget your little saddlebag. And so pretty much anything that's bike related can go into this box. So here I got a little um little multi-tool, I got some tire levers, some cash in here, um, a little um, a little tu tubeless plug, uh, tubeless, what do we call it? Tubeless plugs um, with with the inserts. I have a little tubo lito in here. So that's a super lightweight uh, Dyneema bag as well. It's not, it's not tricky that we're having this one. This one has a Velcro on it, so maybe let's also just attach it somewhere. Like down here. So yeah, I'm still going to be adding my clothes in here and I'll just double check my list um, of tools and small parts if I didn't really forget anything. But what we can quickly do is try to close this thing and hope that it's actually working. You gotta watch out for where those plastic things are going so that they don't scratch the frame. But that's looking good. Good, good, good. And yeah, smooth sailing. And we're good to go. So yeah, I guess got pretty clear that it is a little bit of a jigsaw puzzle and even if you've done it already a couple of times, you might still put in the bike the wrong way around. So what I'm gonna be doing now, I'll be taking a picture of um, how everything has been put together. So basically when I'm traveling back from Mallorca, I'll just look at the picture and I know exactly what needs to go where for everything to fit nice and smoothly. <laughs>
What's up everyone, welcome to the unboxing part of Client Concept. Okay, so off camera I had a little bit of a moment looking through all my baggage all the stuff that I brought, looking for my power meter pedals, which I kind of specifically bought for this trip just to find out like how much power I'm generating while cycling up those hills here, and I couldn't find them. But if you paid attention to my video, how I'm packing my bike, you would of course know that my power meter pedals are in my bottle, which I totally forgot. First one. Second one, bottle is nice and clean because everything was in a fresh bag. Beautiful. Put this in here. Okay. And this one. Okay. So let's say that's it, bike ready. And um, yeah, now it's time to unpack everything else that's not bike related. So yeah, as always, thanks a lot for watching. I hope that it was somehow useful to some of you um, in case you're traveling now because summer is coming up. So um, yeah, wish you good luck packing your case and uh, yeah, happy riding. See you in the next one.